were involved in uh, a very famous battle with Little Big Horn, or the battle was called Little Big Horn, in the Midwest of America, and a lot of them were on the run. They came over with Wild Bill Hickok um, to set up a circus on the, the banks of the Lowry. The tribe were there for six months, teaching circus skills and, and they had wild animals with them. So my name is Lisa Jane Dean and apparently I'm a descendant of a member of the, the Salford Sioux that came over to Salford back in the late 1800s. The tribe, it's all I can't remember the name of the tribe, it's something like the Oligala tribe or something like that. It was the, that part of the Salford Sioux from the Dakota area. I'm a descendant of a man that changed his name to Joe Harper, who I've managed to trace a little bit through Ancestry.com and find out where he fits into my family ancestry. Joe never left, he never carried on with the circus, he remained in Salford and he got involved with my great grandma who was a uh, Eliza Harper. Joseph and Eliza Harper had my grandma who was Minnie Harper who was born in 1910 and they lived in the Ortsall area of Salford and interestingly my mum was Anne and her sister is Elizabeth so they carried on the name. Joseph and Eliza Ann Harper lived on Croydon Street, which is in the Audsall area, and then moved to Dorset Street, which again was Audsall. So that was back at um, Salford Lads Club. But the, the standard joke in our family is that I'm part of the Chickachawa tribe. Don't cross Lisa because she'll scalp you. And where the Chickachawa tribe has come from, I don't know because I've Googled. There's no such thing as the Chickachawa tribe. <laughs> In 1887, the Wild West came to town Buffalo Bill Circus were pulling in the crowd The Indians looked like Indians with feathers in their heads And when the cowboys shot them, they pretended they were dead Soft of all places